Oh yeah. Here, a uh, casual Volvo five-speed transmission in the back. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. That's yep. What, does that, that do that? Uh, yep. Oh, that's like a thing that it does, or? Yeah. Oh. See, that's what Is that happened. what you keep gluing? Uh huh. Oh. Oh yeah. man. Um, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I'll help you. I'll help you buy a new one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 catch! <laughs> Here we go. Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video or if you're new here go ahead and go down there and hit that subscribe button And maybe hit the like button while you're at it too. That'd be nice We got the food vlog and we got some camera equipment over here. And we are going to a Volvo meet This is a meet just for Volvos now as you can probably see by the thumbnail and the, and the title of the video We have a very special Volvo. That's a lot better than mine Well, you'll just see pretty soon. All right, here we are pulling up to the meet we appear to be the only one here for now, so we'll just uh, park it up and hang out for a little bit. I swear I just heard him. I know, I, I'm pretty sure I just heard him. Anyways, y'all, here we are. We've had a lot of fixes that I haven't really talked about, I haven't really recorded much of, but yes, the banana wagon is here. I definitely hear him. I see him. I see him way over there. There he is. Oh my goodness. He's gonna go around that way. Oh, that one sounds so much better than mine. It's a lot louder. I have no idea where this- oh, he's coming over here. He's coming back around. Maybe. Yeah, here he is. Goodness me. Oh my gosh. Good night. That is crazy. Woo! Well, there you go. Goodness me, that's loud. <laughs> There's an easier way to do that. Whoa! Well, howdy! Nice to finally meet you. Yeah. So. Let me get my hood popped real quick and then we'll... Oh, there we go. So for those of you who don't know, this is the car that was featured on That Dude in Blue's channel. This is the A50R that he featured and is owned by this guy. And... Your alarm's going off. What? Huh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> the issues of not having a horn. <laughs> it's good now. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> It does that a lot, but so so it, 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 we don't have to focus on this. This is what we're here to see. This it's is dirty. a lot cleaner. It's it's definitely a lot nicer, for it's, sure. It's dirty right now. I haven't had a chance to clean it since I've been here. <laughs> you say that's dirty. Look at mine. So whatever, th what has all been done? I guess to the car. A lot. Stock bottom end, um, unopened motor with like, and just got like 320,000 miles on it. Chassis got like 51 wow. ish. Manual swapped. A50R clutch. Um, it's got right. the snob fresh intake tube, it's got a uh, TDO4 16T with a angle flange and the 7 centimeter hot side. Okay. Uh, Freddy FV blow off valve, not a fake one. Um, 3 inch throttle body, 
bored out the intake manifold, arm exhaust manifold that's also been ported, um, gotcha. three-inch downpipe, mm -hmm. and exhaust. And yours goes up all the way. Mine doesn't. Is that a? I'll show you. Oh. Do this thing. Yeah. Turn this thing down, and there's another one on the other side. Uh, guys. I just uh, saw the car sitting here and they were taking pictures, I'll get out of here. Oh no, it's alright, no. We're here uh, to... We're, I've been a Volvo fan forever. Oh, that's so cool. Sorry. Well, it's alright. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's, I still have this one here. It's, oh, a, no it's a 93, it's a 5 speed, oh. 2 5 speed. That's awesome. I don't know if you can see Factory it. Factory 5 speed, 93, yeah. that's a great car. Yeah. 240, that's so awesome. Anyway, uh, I just saw these, I'm just like, yeah, let me stop and say hi. Oh yeah. There's a few more coming. Right. Yep. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we're just hanging out. We have a little Volvo group in town. Uh, really? So yeah. Would I actually do it? Well, I, I'd go back and get mine, but my battery's dead. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I'm in the middle of changing uh, plugs right now. So uh, anyway, they look great. You yeah. guys getting parts from IPD or lots? Lots. Yeah. yeah. They're they're a little pricey yeah. lately, but uh, you know, I don't know for a 240. That's about the best source that exists. We're I don't know if it's the wheels or, or the suspension that, that puts you low to the ground, but you've I've, got... I've, it's on coil levers. Okay. I think this is too, but I'm not sure which kind or, or what. But. Yeah, if I remember Mike, the guy that used to own this car, yeah. he put it on lowering springs. We've, we've talked a little bit about the car. Yeah, he's a really cool guy, man. Oh, I yeah. Think that he just fell out of it more than anything. I know he loved that car a lot. I break, there's like plastic that they mount to and the contacts fall and they just hold each other to it. Okay. Because so like, also, I'm also getting an SRS light and that's probably for the airbags oh, or something. Yeah, so. yeah, SRS light, that's normal. Oh, your horns aren't even in the front. They relocated down beneath, probably. Maybe? Oh, they're right here, yeah. Yep. So factory horn location's up here. Okay. And he actually, yeah. I need to get, I need to get like a little hose that goes from here to the air filter. Oh, from, the cold air. Yeah, because yeah. it would, it wouldn't. It goes between there. It there. wouldn't do too much, but it would at least like force the air into there somewhat yeah. and add a little bit of horsepower. Yeah, it's a, that's a factory cold air inlet right there. You know, yeah. usually there's a tube. I've thrown like four of them away. Because hmm. uh, I don't have a, I don't even have a air, uh, air box with a shield on mine. Huh? Awesome. Yeah, I noticed you didn't have the air box yeah, in there. Okay. Yeah, you can get in and get a feel for it. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> don't 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 mind me being so short that. That's you... fine, man. Oh yes, that is short. Really? Do you mind if I feel yours? Yeah, go for it, man. All right. Yeah, that's very different. Whoa. Yeah, way more throw. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. Gee. I kind of like it like that. It's yeah, like me too. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It gets, gets to the old school, like super loose gearbox feel to it. I mean, yeah, I mean, the. I like the short, I like the the long throws because you can, like, really feel like you're going somewhere and you kind of know because yeah, you fun. get you get more it. space to know, like, hey, am I going into, you know, like, I know I'm going to third. Okay, yes, yeah, because I went over. Yeah. Short throw is kind of like, uh, is this it's first the, or is this? Yeah. yeah. I see you've also got the, the center console screen there. That's nice. I've got yeah. just a little radio. But. Yeah, that's a uh, some Chinese Android unit from Amazon. Gotcha. So I had to make mounts for it. There's I like see. no good dash kits that fit really well on these cars. Huh. Is this a stock uh, manual transmission? No, I swapped it. Gotcha. Yeah. This dash looks familiar. He's got some gauges over here, a lot like me. He's got an A air fuel ratio gauge though that yeah. I wish I had. Yeah, my car actually runs closed loop wideband, so I don't have the factory O2 sensors in it at all. Your interior looks a lot similar to mine, pretty much. Should be about the same color too. Now the issue, an issue that I'm having that you may know somewhat about. Well, besides those doors not wanting to open, period. Um, <laughs> boy. Does that not open from the inside? Um, well, on that door the lock won't go up all the way, and on that door it won't open from the inside. Okay. And on both of my outside passenger seats, the middle one's fine, but on the outside passenger seats. Oh, you mentioned that online. Yeah, it's, it's locked. It's so you locked. Can't put the seat up. No. Yeah. I can, but it would. It, the, I did it on that side because I almost forced. I forced it all the way up, and it left a pretty nice indention in the leather, and so I let it back, back down. It's probably. I mean, it looks a lot better now, but you could see what the seatbelt was before. Yeah. So, I think that, it, from my understanding, it's just a matter of getting these two out and fixing it from the inside. You have but, to like unbolt it and like let it fully retract so it'll free itself. Yeah. And then, uh, I had that happen. 
I got a bunch of junk in the back too. Let's what, let's. What when, I think the reason mine did it was to put seats down too fast. If you like super careful, because it won't, it'll, it'll go to like lock mode if you, if you like swing the seats down. Real okay. Because I did, because they did work until I folded it down, yeah. and then they didn't. Yeah, so. I learned that the hard way. Ooh, I know what I need to do. You gotta go on like FCP and look up um, the door grommets. Yeah. And it's kind of pain, but I keep like a ton of them on hand at my house because like they go bad like once a year. Oh really? You gotta pop, you gotta pull, you gotta like fix these little grommets in there. That's all that happens is this just not like engaging the door correctly. Uh huh. I would open my trunk. I can open my trunk, but my trunk's tweaked so it doesn't close right. Gotcha. Like at all. Huh. And there's a transmission in there. Get my socks and stuff. Well, after we take a ride in your car, I'm down to let you take a ride in my car and yeah, I'd like to feel it. get a feel for it and tell me how much different it is. And I should probably check. Oh, right, I can't check how much oil I have because, uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? I literally had that happen once. Oh, my God. Is the, the, the thing still in there, though, right? Like you can oh, yeah. It. Oh, yeah. I just use needle nose and yank it out, but you got to find the new one. Those things are kind of hard to come by these days. Uh, FCP Euro's got one. Yeah. So you have to make sure it's the right one. There's two different lengths apparently. Ooh, and is there? Uh, gotcha. Alrighty, hopping in the blueberry. And I don't know the roads here real well, so I'm just gonna go out and start ripping that way. Sounds fun. I have something here too. I can tell. <laughs> Mine has subs in the front too, but I don't think they have them anywhere else in the car, but... I'm gonna keep it quiet for now. Alright, yeah, sounds good. We got the cutout off right now, so... I don't think I've told you about my YouTube channel, have I? Or maybe I have. I think I've seen you post links on Volvo's feed. Maybe. I might be subscribed to it, actually. Oh, cool. I don't remember. I'm subscribed to a lot of stuff. Oh, crap. I missed that opportunity. It's alright, well... Nice, nice and chilly, bro. You can have some of that. I don't care. Oh, nice, nice. I wish. Is that really cool, AC? Got it all the way green. Um, oh, that's so nice. That's decent. You know that the uh, glove box door doesn't have anything on it from the factory. Huh. That's pretty. It's got all Infinity door speakers in it, stuff like that. Oh wow. Custom headliner. Yeah? All the gray stuff. Oh, that's so cool. The headliner's sweet. Yeah. That is awesome. Oh, oh my goodness. I know. I didn't realize it was this traffic you hear. You're okay with this going on YouTube too, right? Yeah, I don't care. Cool means. Oh, there's an F8 or something. Yeah, I think that's. But I, I, don't, I actually don't know what that was. Some sort of. Ferrari. Some sort of Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. some sort. Of new one. <laughs> we don't care about Ferraris here. We care about Volvos. Right there. Shuts off. Gotcha. And this up is on. We have a big Volvo community in Florida, man. Sounds like, good. Like one of the largest in the country. And it's a good group. Like they're they're really awesome people. Huh.
either Chick-fil-A or something with the wagons. Get up, get up the drive through Well, we can we can one wreck around. That's actually a road I want to hit with both these cars in, in a little bit, but. But yeah, first gear synchros are no good. Oh. So the second gear synchros, and the third gear synchros. <laughs> Why there's a transmission in the trunk? Bubble dealership to see what they say. Uh, I, I never ever go near those places. No? <laughs> no. Uh -oh. They're bad. Really? I don't, I don't know what they're like here. But. I went to one to go pick up a part for a friend, and I and I parked outside. And they, I walked in. They said, "All right, what?" <laughs> Yours doesn't have any... No, it's actually like a decent looking one. Yeah. They're, they're hard to find, dude. I'm telling you, like, I, I, I scrounged to find that one. Well, there's two available right now, and like I said, I kind of want to get one, but don't know if I really want to pay that much for it. been taking me around in the Volvo so <laughs> we have one more to the to the crew of cars here and <laughs> gee whiz that thing is, is so stupid fast and loud yeah. but I love it it's making it's, it's <coughs> yeah, we went. I want to do it but I can't afford it but I want to do it but I can't afford it but I want to do it <laughs> well that's a, the, see I used to work at the Chick-fil-a down the road that's just there okay and they know my car they know my car, so my manager bought me the model car, the uh, the Hot Wheels one, but not like the the original one, like the fast wagons one. Yeah. So he's no, he's gonna know I'm gonna be there, but then this thing shows up. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Oh, it's got kind of horrible. It's, it's got it does it. It, got it does it. It's just because you don't. It's just not like cut out. You're, it's got it. We're not quite hot yet, but we'll get it. I do that a lot too. Hey man, it's all right. At least you have synchros that work. <laughs> Honestly, like I cannot shift that fast in my car because it won't let me. Uh, we have to just grind. It's kind of sad. I guess my synchros are starting to go out. At least second one. Cause second does a lot. Third. Just really? Ended. Yeah. You know how how recently was the swap? Probably a long time. Uh, no idea. No idea. Yeah. I don't even trust my clutch that much because it's it's slow and slow like getting clutch to the top of it. Release. Yeah, I kill the A50R clutch every like 40,000 miles or so.
Feel your brake rotor warp, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Feel that. Oh, yeah. Yep. Absolutely been there, done that a million times. Yep. Definitely uh, on the list of things to get done. I've gotten pretty good at rep matching, too. snap fresh air pipes on there instead of that like wrinkled one you know yeah um you hear it a lot better for the for the stock one <laughs> because like that uh that wrinkle whatever it looks like a dryer tube it uh it muffles sound really good out of your intake hmm. Dude, there's one Starbucks indicator. It's terrible. Too. That one gets backed up here all the time. Really? Oh yeah. I'm just jealous y'all got one. You can like see they like made a little road extension just for Starbucks because it gets backed up on 72. It'll still get backed up on 72. Like the line will be into the turn. Yeah. It gets crazy. But uh, welcome to the five six boys. That's how we be here. It's a different um, AC control unit than mine. Yeah, I have the um, I have the one that you have in the box of parts I was given. Uh, and it blows all right. But I'm from the window because I can hear the car. Same. <laughs> it's fun. I would never put my windows up. No, it sounds good, man. Occasionally, like if you do a big pull and then do a little a little revving, then it'll get like a big. <laughs> But it's it's very rare. It happens maybe a few times a week. Yeah. It's hard to get to do it. Like I mean, like it'll do one like yours did. Like when you first pulled up. If, yeah. It, it, roll the clip when yours did that. It, it'll do that. Like very loud. Like you can really hear it. Have to open the door. Cool. Almost. Gotta pull it. I'm so, I'm, I'm so smooth brain right now. <laughs> Got the little titanium tip. <laughs> what? From here? It doesn't look like a Yeti cup. <gasps> it does. <laughs> From here it looks like... What if you did that? What if you got like one of those things that you, you, like, you put like a little thing on it and you could use it as a Yeti cup? <laughs> Two ninety nine of fluids. So. All right, okay. not That's bad. You got a Ferrari this morning? Yep. Where was that at? Uh, Cards and Coffee. It was down at the Barnes and Noble, what? way down the road. Yeah. What day of the month is it? Uh, oh. First Saturday every month down there at the. Uh, you're gonna miss the next, I'm miss the next one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you got speed perks rewards? Uh, I do, I think so. Just the, the sign up thing. Yes. Yeah. All right. Have a good day. Thanks, man. You too. Wire has been acquired. All right. Banana looking spicy. People call it banana car. Yeah, the banana boat, big bird, a race car. Um. Yeah. It gets it gets all kinds of nicknames. Really? Yep. But uh, this is yours. Are you sure? Yep. Have fun. All right. Here we go. You own one of these cars, you know them well, so I trust you in mine. Can I put your seat back a little bit? Go for it. Are you sure? Yeah, I have, I have, I have, set, I have specific settings. You got no. holders in here? Um, yes. Nice. Oh, what the? Oh, mine broke. Oh, yeah. I'll hold it. No, it's all right. Okay. All right. Oh, the return spring and the pedal, I think, is not in there. <laughs> the, clutch, the clutch comes back slow. Really? Yeah, it's almost like 
I'll let you film mine, it'll be later. Okay. Huh. Oh, it actually went into gear that time. Sometimes it doesn't, doesn't go into go reverse. Not immediately. Yeah, no. Oh, a short shift feels weird. <laughs> Feels like it's not all the way in, but I'm, I'm used to pushing it so much farther forward. Yeah. Oil's hot, so. Um, oh, yeah, it's up to time. You're good. Oil's hot, lights are off, you're good to go. I'm gonna wreck it. No, you're not. Fuel pressure gauge is uh, a lot lower than it should be. Oh, really? If it's right. so much weirder like driving riding in my car really good my hair's all over my face wind yes it's so much fun it feels great yeah it feels exactly like my car felt when it was just on a you know a50r tuning pretty much with a stock turbo and a boost controller i think this is pretty much what this is on is a, is yeah. a, is a stock r tune i think that's what it is too that's, yeah. what, that's what it runs like it is at least so what should the fuel let's do the what's that what should the fuel pressure be at base fuel pressure at your rail at idle should be 43 and a half psi in this car huh i don't know this one it, this might just be wrong well we might are we, we are running rich so eh. I mean, I don't think I don't think fuel getting there is a problem. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. To be honest with you, I think the gauge might be wrong. Yeah. I honestly trust your driving more than I do because I haven't ever pushed this car like I'm really, really hard. Oh, dude, I won't. I won't. I won't push your car. Well, I do, but like. I I I push mine. Too. You can you can bang the rev limiter going in, or if we have a chance to, if you want. Because I've done that before, and I trust that. Oh, where? Not the light. Oh, yeah. It runs great, man. Like, Thank you. It really does. Like I would nail this car. I do. It's very nice. Yep, he's leaving. You got LEDs in your turn signals, right? Uh, I think so. I think that's why it blinks so it blinks weirdly. Um, no, it's because the lights are on right now. Turn, turn the lights off. What? Turn the lights on. It blinks quicker. It's not supposed to be like that. No? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's weird. That's I like weird. it. That's the bulb warning light. Oh no, that's your rear fog light. Light. Yeah. Why is it on? Uh, cause it lets you know it's on. You just leave it on all the time. Yeah, I leave my fog light on. Okay. Cause why not? Yeah. If you have one, yeah. one doesn't work. I don't know why. And it, it doesn't matter, so I'm never gonna fix it. <laughs> got auto dimming uh, mirror. Someone put in it. Oh, cool. That's fact. That's not fi factored for this car. It's a 70 series thing. Same with the uh, remote uh, button here. Hmm. That's not a A50 thing. Interesting. Yeah, that's that's actually kind of cool. Turbo, dude. Yep. Literally, like exactly like they all sound. Good. Half a Viper. It makes good vacuum. Low pressure. Good. I think it's not bad PSI at idle. That's excellent. That's a great car. I mean, four grand. Let's just sell the car to get four grand. I think. The issues are like the little things like down here, like yeah. there's that and like this oh, is yeah. broken here. Yeah. Like everything on this car is pretty much little right now besides the. Um, the biggest issue I have that's like mechanical is like maybe the reverse lights aren't working. Yeah, I don't have reverse lights on my car. Or I'm never gonna put them in. <laughs> yeah. Or like right now the the hose in the front like like you know crack, but there's nothing majorly wrong with this car. Yeah. It's been a really nice day. There. It, it is wonderful. I'll show you the plate I made for this boot to clip into. I think I saw it a little bit yeah. though. It's it, it's nice. Did you make it yourself? Yeah. Okay. You have to tell me. The, when you get a chance, or like when you get home tonight, you can show me or tell me how you made that. And it's super easy. You can send me the, the, the cutout like, pipe thing for that too. It's just plexiglass and I can cut it. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I have heated seats. Yeah, I do as well. I take the switches out because oh. I can't use them. You'll never use them? Alright. Uh, I, I would. 
Um, the it heating, gets cold here. The heating elements in mine are completely trashed, so. Uh, Interesting your SRS lights on, I don't know why. Uh, clock spring, I think. Same thing. Clock spring on this? S same oh, reason. So it really might be why the horn Same work. reason why my horn won't work, yeah. yeah. That's what my Michael Kelly, who runs Autologic, told me. Oh, okay. Yeah. I trust him pretty well. With He did the timing yeah. bell, he's done Freon, he's done a lot of stuff on this car, so. Your horns are plugged in, so th that makes a lot of sense now. Because the, the issue with these cars isn't that the horn stops working, it's that the horn gets stuck on. <laughs> like, gotcha. that's what they do. Yeah. Nice sounds, sounds good, man. Yeah. I take pride in that. It's not, it's not again. It's not terrible. Yeah, it's just not. You might have a motor mount, a torque mount that's going. I can mm. feel it in my feet. Oh, what the heck? You want me to go back in next to him? Uh, sure. <laughs> Someone took our spot. The. What makes you think the torque mount's going? And I how bad it. is that? I feel it in my pedal. In the pedal. Okay. I feel the vibration. Gotcha. I feel it in the brake pedal. That might be the uh, the the rotors. Oh no, it's not. It's sitting still. I feel it in the pedal, which is weird. Hmm. How bad is that, and how concerned should I be? Eh. Not very. Okay. Don't worry about that much. You're you're way good over here. Okay. Yeah. That's yep. what, does that, that do that? Uh, oh, yep. Oh, that's like a thing that it does, or yeah. Oh, see, that's what happens. Is that what you keep gluing? Uh huh. Oh. oh yeah. Man. Um. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I'll help you. I'll help you buy a <laughs> new one. <laughs> hey, 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 catch! <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to. <laughs> Freaking cool. What? Freaking cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it does. It just rips off. Like yeah, that. That, that's what. So that's you've what. You've done that before. Yeah, that's what I did. I was doing it. You can go and turn that, okay, it off. Okay, I see the JB weld. Oh yes, I do. Yeah, I was doing a first gear pull. I was I was doing a run 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 and I went to go grab it and I went to go down and it got it got into the neutral and whoop. Oh. Yeah. That's cool, man. I'll buy you some more JB weld. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll go do that later. And right, I'm gonna. Uh... This is for you. Oh, thank you. Um. Okay. The, I have some more JB Weld. I have some more JB Weld in the back, but um. Oh right, I gotta let myself out. Oh, oh. Those I got. I gotta buy you one of those now. <laughs> it's all right, man. It's all good. I know what I need to do. I need to. Um, I need to see your uh, shift knob that you've done. And your. Oh yeah. Here, uh, casual Volvo 5 speed transmission there in the back. <laughs> and the big ol' subs. Sheesh. Okay. Yeah, my door speakers have subs, but I don't want to do anything like that because I like my rear storage. Oh, how'd you do the LED lights up here? And there? Yeah. Oh, one's out, you can see that. Yeah, but like, how'd you do it? I modified, I actually glued panels in. The same panels you got? I, yeah. I actually uh, hardwired them, soldered them to the fixtures, and um... Do you mind showing me a little bit? Um, no, because that's glued in. Oh. But I'll explain it better. <laughs> no, because it's glued. <laughs> I can feel the clutch difference, yeah. Whoo! Yeah, it comes right back. Heavy clutch. Yeah. Well, yeah, it probably has a different pressure plate than yours, I assume. Prepare yourself for how hard I have to slam this door. Yup. Oofy. Yeah, that's a cool plate there. Exactly. This is an epic plate you've got here for sure. Oh, what is it? Yeah, the, the plate you've got here. I love you it. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, do just take some measurements and cut it. Use like a little uh, jigsaw. Uh -huh. Some, what is that, eighth inch uh, plexi, uh, like acrylic plate pretty much. Just cut the two holes. Who did you say did the uh, cutout again? What's that? Who did the cutout again, did you say? Oh, I did. Oh, well like, like what was the cutout made at? Or like, did you, like the company, it's or just so, an Amazon thing? It's on AliExpress. Okay, gotcha. Which is, you know, Chinese stuff for cheap. Yeah. And um, it's a, uh, 
three inch cut out. It comes with like a Y pipe that you have to like either weld in or clamp in. Okay. So like you cut a section of a certain length out, you put this thing in there, and like that's it. You have to wire it up. To, uh, power. That's it. Okay. Yeah. How do you do the power stuff? Um, or how did you do it? Mine is coming off of the cigarette lighter. Okay. Cool. And then yeah, the what you do up here? Cause I cause so, those are tricky. They are because they don't have, they'll have little adapters that fit into the stupid. Plate. Yeah. Um, you have to get like I literally solder the wires to the positive and negative, like as opposed to like having like a terminal that just plugs in. Like, yeah. They're hardwired. So you soldered them on the outside of the little terminal there, then? Yeah, you know where the little metal contact is for the, where the bulb goes from the factory. Yeah, I soldered right to that. Okay, cool. Huh. All right. And then I just glued them up in place. Gotcha. All right, we're heading to Chick-fil-A with the other wagon in tow. Ooh, that was my camera. Oof. All right, we do be here at the Chick-fil-A. Everyone is surprised. Hello, everyone. Whoa. Yes, it's me. Because I am here with Volvo. No, I've come to take picture with Volvo. But I've also come to get a uh, six kind of chicken nuggets and a Coke. All right, five. That works too. Sure. Yeah, if I count nuggets of coke, that's it. Y'all need my card, don't y'all? Yeah, you do. Just put a five count coke. Yes, five. yes, sir. Do you work here still? No. You Any sauces? I did. What? Uh, sauces? No. It's been a little bit, like uh, four, three weeks. Four I know, weeks? I haven't seen y'all. I was like, oh my god, where's Sam? My last Why attention. Is there another? Because he's here. Oh, oh my god. That's yes. Funny. That's what I was getting the pictures for. Just stay still. Okay. Oh, Oh, okay. Why did you tell us to move? That's embarrassing. Oh, sorry. Well, let, I'll do it again. Hold on. Get out. Okay, okay, okay. Get out. Thank you. <laughs> I gotta get the thumbnail. All right. Yes. Perfect video thumbnail. That's the station wagons. Yes, yeah, the station wagons. The swagons. Okay. We're going to go enjoy our Chick Fil A now. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Goodbye. I bet it would be really loud under there. In here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying you can try it, but I'm saying if you want to. Oh boy. Yeah, I used to work here, like I said. Oh really? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, no, this is the new one. I used to work at the old one, but yeah, we just everyone moved. What's going on? I missed you. Do you, want, do you want to get in the vlog? Hang on. Yes. This is my friend Kip. Hey. He's in the vlog now. <laughs> Look, I brought my friend in the in his in his blue wagon over here to uh, oh to Chick Fil A. So, yeah. Oh, they put two Sam on there. Oh, that is so cool. And they put a yellow station wagon. I'm so yes. happy they got my order right. Oh my gosh. Also, so Gracie made her your drinks. There are there's no ice. Gracie made my drinks. Yes. Bruh, why she not put any ice in there? Uh, hey, take care, man. Thank you. Oh, hey, I think your car burns oil. Uh, no shit. I don't know. Like, I, I know you said a bridge, but I don't know if it's bridge. I think it's oil smoke. I thought you were off. Really? Yeah. 
How much? Like sometimes it was like a huge cloud, and other times it was like none. Alright, now they're my yellow. What color? It's like white and black. It's like both. Huh. Yeah. I'll see you out there. Yeah. Alright, bye. Bye. He's running. He's running. Oh, is that one with ice? Yes. Oh, you're the man. You're the man. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Chick-fil-A boys, they always get you. They always got you. All right, dad me up with two Cokes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, that blue looks so good. Oh yeah, it's so much fun. Oh, what's up, bro? <laughs> yeah, the it's so much fun knowing all the people working here and and them knowing my car. Yeah. Cause I pull up and everyone goes, oh, Sam. <laughs> all right. Well, I think I think since the boys have now gotten our Chick Fil A, I think we're gonna eat and then we're gonna head out for, uh, well. We'll just say Mexico. How about that? Sure. Yeah, Mexico. Oh, it's so loud, dude. Oh my gosh. All right. There you go. There's the, the 2850s. My eh, meh, kind of T5 and then the the beautiful, beautiful R over here. Uh, we're just over here at the Pier Gas Station. You'll probably remember this from when I reviewed the beginning, or my preview, or blah, 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 English. When I first showed off the Volvo, um, this is a pretty popular spot out here for photos. Uh, I like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some of both the wagons here, because once this car is gone, it's probably not coming back to town for a while, if ever. Although, we might have to go make a trip to go see it sometime in the future. I heard that the community down from where this car comes from is, is uh, the Volvo community at least, is pretty heavy. So, uh, maybe the next year or two you might expect a, a whole vacation vlog for Volvos. Anyways, I think that'll pretty much end it for this video. I'm Sam and I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully with a lot more Volvo fixes because um, more stuff on the way.